The nitrogen cycle. Nitrogen is the most abundant element in our planet's atmosphere. Approximately 78% of the atmosphere is made up of nitrogen gas. Other compositions of the atmosphere are 21% of oxygen, 0.93% of argon, and 0.04% of carbon dioxide. Gases like carbon dioxide, nitrous oxides, methane, and ozone are trace gases that account for about a tenth of 1% of the atmosphere. Although nitrogen is the most abundant component in the atmosphere, the gaseous form of nitrogen is not available to be taken by plants and other organisms. Nitrogen is a crucially important component for all life. It is an important part of many cells and processes such as amino acids, and proteins. It is also needed to make chlorophyll in plants, which is used in photosynthesis to make their food. As part of these life processes, Nitrogen is transformed from one chemical form to another. The transformations that nitrogen undergoes as it moves between the atmosphere, the land and living things make up the nitrogen cycle. Let's begin with nitrogen fixation. This process reduces the atmospheric nitrogen gas to ammonia gas. Nitrogen in the atmosphere can be fixed by leguminous plants through a symbiotic association with nitrogen-fixing bacteria such as Rhizobium and Bradyrhizobium. These symbiotic nitrogen-fixing bacteria infect the roots of leguminous plants to form root nodules. Bacteria that are responsible for nitrogen fixation all rely on the nitrogenase enzyme. Other than that, Nitrogen fixation also can be performed by free living aerobic nitrogen fixers such as symbiotic association between Azola and Anabana, and non symbiotic bacteria such as Azotobacter, Bigerinchia, Cyanobacteria, and Clostridium. Ammonia gas produced either lost to the atmosphere through ammonia volatilization, or dissolved in water to produce ammonium ion. Ammonium ions would actually make a more efficient source of nitrogen because they require less energy to incorporate into protein. But these positively charged ions are usually bound to negatively charged clays in the soil and makes them not readily available for the plants. The next process in the nitrogen cycle is nitrification by nitrifying bacteria. This is a two stages process that involves oxidation of the nitrogen in the ammonium ion to produce nitrate ion. Autotrophic soil living nitrifying bacteria, such as Nitrosomonas and Nitrobacter, obtain energy by oxidizing ammonia ion or nitrate ion. In the first stage, Nitrosomonas oxidizes ammonium ion to nitrite ion. In the second stage, Nitrobacter oxidizes nitrite ion to nitrate ion. These nitrates are inorganic form of nitrogen that are readily available to be adsorbed by plants or assimilated by plants to become organic form of nitrogen such as amino acids and proteins. On the other hand, nitrates also can be supplied into the soil through application of fertilizers. The next process is called denitrification, where nitrates are reduced to nitrous oxide or nitrogen gas. This process leads to a loss of nitrogen to the atmosphere, where it removes nitrates from the soil and nitrous oxide contribute to greenhouse gases. Most denitrification is performed by denitrifying bacteria such as Pseudomonas species in waterlogged or anoxic soils, where little oxygen is available. When an organism dies, the process of microbial decomposition results in the hydrolytic breakdown of proteins into amino acids. In a process called deamination, the amino groups of amino acids are removed and converted into ammonia. This release of ammonia is called ammonification, 